My name is Sam Allen. I'm the uh, president and director of TRI Environmental, uh, the environmental group. Uh, and I'm also have the pleasure and the honor of serving as the president of the International Geosynthetic Society. The IGS is the International Geosynthetic Society, and its uh, objective is to increase the education and knowledge about geosynthetic materials and promote the use of these materials in the best uh, state of the practice way, uh, increasing quality, education, uh, letting these materials um, uh, in their applications afford lower carbon footprint, more resilient and lower, uh, higher sustainable infrastructure. Um, this is our aim. This is, um, uh, this is our efforts within the IGS. Um, these are materials that are very specifically engineered for very successful applications that uh, provide um, very uh, meaningful engineering responses to uh, containment, to reinforcement, uh, to drainage, all of the functionalities that are very typical of infrastructure construction and design. You know, my view is that the IGS is for everyone involved in the creation of infrastructure for humankind, whether this be um, environmental protection, uh, transportation related, um, sustainable, uh, resilient infrastructure. Um, of course, those uh, efforts come with all communities related to them, from design and engineering to uh, professors that are teaching engineering skills, to manufacturers that are manufacturing products, uh, to installers and contractors that are building with these products. All of these individuals are invited into the community of the IGS uh, to learn more about these materials and make sure that their use is the proper use of the highest quality uh, application. In, in my first uh, experience as being president, I had many people tell me all sorts of messages. Uh, all of the message, uh, messages had a common theme, and that was education, education, and education. So uh, we heard that message, and we are all about uh, education. So a lot of the initiatives that we have uh, are expressions of geosynthetics in the highest quality use. One of those is uh, the sustainable benefits of the use of geosynthetics. So a big effort has been behind the development and implementation of a sustainability calculator that's not just about geosynthetics, but about traditional infrastructure design so that the geosynthetic solution can be compared directly to the more traditional solution. So design engineers uh, can compare these and see the sustainability benefits of geosynthetics. We also have acknowledged that while there are many reference uh, documents, uh, handbooks for structural steel, for concrete, there's never existed a handbook for geosynthetic materials. And working with the IGS technical committees and the education committee of the IGS, we are well on the way to developing a geosynthetics handbook, the first ever handbook of its kind. And of course, this will be a living document that will continue to be added to and uh, modified and evolved uh, over time to make it better and better. So I'm very excited about these tools to use for education. And then finally, uh, the third arm of this um, these efforts really is in the development of a sister program to the existing Educate the Educators program that will be dedicated not to uh, university professors, but to the working professional, whether that professional be a designer or a contractor or a, um, a manufacturer. These will be uh, short courses, um, educational courses that speak to design, speak to the use of geosynthetics, uh, and all of these um, efforts are application driven because again, we know that our users are interested in geosynthetics, but that's not their job. Their job is infrastructure development. So we want to teach infrastructure construction, but letting them know about the geosynthetic response to those efforts. Oh, the society is driven by, uh, by professionals in the industry, but those professionals uh, grow and change, and we always need a new generation 
coming in to, um, to propel the society forward. Uh, things are changing. They're changing rapidly. Uh, the need for geosynthetics is urgent, and it's the youngest uh, of our participants that are carrying that urgent message into the future. So education, again, is, is vital. The invitation for young members, for students and young professionals is very uh, broad and very expressed uh, throughout all communication from our society. Well, this is the home of geosynthetics technology. So uh, anybody working in infrastructure is really not doing their job in, in a holistic way unless they know about geosynthetics and unless they're using them uh, appropriately. So this is the home of geosynthetics. So that's the first benefit. It's just having uh, a central place to learn about these materials, how they're used and what applications they're used uh, and all of the benefits associated with their use. Uh, but the other benefits are through networking and um, fun um, aspects of the society, including this Geo Jeopardy uh, at this conference, but also workshops and uh, technical events, conferences. Um, we have a big diversity push in, in our industry. So not just diversity in um, male, female, uh, but also geographical diversity, uh, hearing all the voices of our industry from the most accomplished uh, professor to the uh, new contractor out in the field. Uh, we, we are not whole until we are listening to all voices within our society. Well, the society uh, wheels are born through our chapters, right? Uh, those are the, the, those are the uh, driving mechanisms of our expression. So the IGS is formed into uh, chapters that exist in a given country or a given region, and those are the members, those chapters are the, the outlets for member activity. Uh, so on the upper level of uh, council work, we provide tools and programs and um, mechanisms for those chapters to be busy, but it's the chapters that are doing the work uh, down on the level that it's specific to the needs of their country, their engineering communities, their uh, infrastructure needs. And so we are in a position of wanting to support them. So that's the way to get involved. Do you have a chapter uh, that you can join? Can you get active with that chapter? We don't have a chapter in every country, however. So when there's not a regional or a national chapter to become involved in, we invite you to go directly to our website and become part of our global community through joining directly uh, to the IGS. I would tell the membership that this world of geosynthetics is a, is a world that's increasingly urgent. As our planet, as our infrastructure is under duress uh, from fires, from superstorms, uh, from environmental challenges, from pollution, um, the application of geosynthetics and the solutions that they bring to so many of these challenges has never been more urgent to know about. And of course, education continues to be our biggest challenge at the university level and at the professional level. Uh, but the opportunities have never been greater. So the urgency of our message, the urgency of our geosynthetic solutions is very pronounced uh, in this day and age, and I don't see it going uh, anywhere else except to be more and more urgent. So my message to our membership in the society is that you are in the right place at the right time, and please help us uh, spread the word. Uh, as Dr. Giroux said in his 40th anniversary message to all of the society, the International Geosynthetic Society is successful because geosynthetics are successful. This is our message to our membership. Let's work together to make sure everybody learns about these materials. <music>